Hi all, this is Karthik from Design School by WP Algorithm. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to implement WordPress infinite scrolling or WordPress click to load more posts such as this. So you scroll down, you see a load more button or you can customize it to whatever you need. Just click to load more posts. It's quite simple and you can do it starting with Elementor Pro 3.4. I'll show you how in this tutorial. Now in your WordPress dashboard, go to pages. Create a new page. I've already created a page called Infinite Scrolling. Simply click on Edit with Elementor. That will take you to Elementor interface. And this can be page, this can be post. It can even be a custom post type. It doesn't matter. Just create a page because pages are easy to access. Now I have this heading widget. And in order to implement the Ajax load more or infinite scrolling, just search for Elementor Pro posts widget. And it's this one. Just click and drag it right below my heading and the posts are automatically populated. Now by default, the number of posts per page are defined by your WordPress heading. You can simply delete this number, the post per page number. So that will basically load all the posts on your website without you having to do anything. And under pagination, just click on it. And now it's set to none. You can set it to numbers. You can set it to previous next or combination of that and now you have two new options in elementor pro 3.4 which is to load on click simply click that and you can pick the loading icon when the button is clicked so it will look something like this you can customize the icon of the load more button when the load more is clicked you can change the text of the button you can also add an icon i'll just add this icon so it looks something like that. And you can also tweak when there are no posts in this particular query. Now, I've just selected the source as posts. You can select pages or basically any custom post type. And this Ajax infinite scrolling or load more will work with basically any post types. I've just picked the default posts. You can filter whatever you need. All right. Now that we've picked load on click, I'll just hit on update. I'll just click on preview changes and the preview is updated. Now when I scroll through at the bottom, I find this load more button. I'll just click that and just like that, more posts are loaded. Click that again, even more posts are loaded. This is a famous way to keep your visitors engaged on your website and now Let's implement infinite scrolling just with click of a button. Again, change the pagination from load on click to infinite scroll. You can change the icon. You can also change the no more post found message. That will be basically shown when you reach the end of the post. Again, I'll click the preview. Scroll down. As I scroll through, the posts are automatically filtered. And when I reach the end of the post, it shows this message, meaning there are no more posts that it can pull from the WordPress database. This is a popular technique used by quite some content heavy famous websites such as Buzzfeed and 9gag and stuff like that. So you can implement it in your Elementor interface using Elementor Pro post widget. Now the same is also true for Elementor Pro archive post widget. So if you have an archive template created using Elementor Pro Theme Builder, you can simply click on Edit with Elementor. Usually your archive template would have archive post widget. That's how it works. So if you click on that widget, again, scroll down to pagination, you find the brand new options that I just showed you. So you can pick any one that you need and customize the way your archive post works. The only thing with your archive post widget is that you don't have to pick the number of posts because they're dynamically pulled. As long as there are posts, they're automatically pulled. And this is all just possible using Elementor Pro. If you don't have Elementor Pro, now is the best time to invest in it. Links to Elementor Pro will be in the description. Also links to few other important tutorials will be in the description. Again, check out Elementor Basics playlist if you want to get started from the scratch. That's it for now. See you in the next one. Take care.